go any further until you take a seat. Do you really understand why you have come here? 
See this? This is all my hopes, my dreams and my actions. This will be the basis of my story. I already know your story, and if you sit down, I'll tell it to you. You know my story? <laughs> you don't know anything about me, or why I'm doing this performance. Okay, this will be terminated and you can go back into your fantasy world or horror show if you don't cooperate and sit down. Well, I'm just saying, if you already know my story, then why are we even having this interview? Can't we just hurry up? Now, you need to see all sides of this. Of who you really are and what you really want from this final performance. Two sides of one tale, so to speak. Or two sides of the same side. I need to be sure on why I'm looking at you and why you are here. Oh sure, we've all been here. We've all said we're going to do this final performance. I think you see the romance of this as a more predominant reason than the actual necessity of needing to do it. Your obsessions with your so-called kindred souls the ones you have researched, actors, artists, musicians, and other random strays of society who have all chosen to come for this final performance. These like-minded performances, some more dramatic, have all ended in this room. I can feel the same fate. I can see it in their eyes and in my heart. My mind thinks this way. You say strays of society? This is the whole reason this happens. The mass hypocrisy behind religion and politics, teaching you to hate for no reason. That is the reason for the strays of society, as you put it. You end up too aware, too unsure, and uncertain of only one thing. That your whole life is a lie. So you see this as a final way to achieve your one over-obsessed goal. No, I see it as an end. I'm certain of the end. I want it played this way. Well then why have you not done it sooner? My final pieces were not up to the standard that I'd intended. I think this is my point. Look at this absurdity. Just look at yourself. You're always talking about how this time it's different. How you're different. I've never believed a word of it deep down. Why are you different? This is why you have been used by others, or perceive you have, and this is the one fundamental reason why you are here. You and everything you are is sympathetic. No, I don't see it this way. I prefer to be quiet, known for only specific facets of myself. People have often misinterpreted me in many ways. I wish they'd leave me alone. I wish they'd stop laughing at me and mocking me. You think people are staring at you? Well, yes, they are. And it's no wonder. It just took you this long to realise that they weren't admiring you. They were mocking you. Look at you. How many times a day do you think someone feels disgusted by you? I mean, everything centres around you, doesn't it? But you will finally realise that you are a second-rate human being in the eyes of the world. A freak. Not a day goes by without someone on the street being disgusted by you. You just don't fit in. That's why you're here now. Tightly locked in. No, you don't fit in, and never will fit in. You have no interest in conformity, and you need to be more submissive. You really are nothing special. Or someone would have noticed by now. Just another stray animal that we've trapped. Trapped in your own fantasy. C'est vrai, vous me connaissez bien. Je suis triste, je fais n'importe quoi. Évidemment, je vous connais. Je crois qu'au fond, j'ai toujours eu envie de vous épouser. Même du temps de Dorothy. Trapped in your own fantasy.
Maybe this is my whole point. It's hard at first with that realisation that you're not as good as you had hoped you'd be or that you're an inferior being. Then for a while you accept it and want to quietly hide in the corner. Then you decide, perhaps I do have some hope and you attempt another voyage into life only to end up smashing against its rocks even harder than the previous time. You realise it was foolish trying again. Then I guess you really analyse the purpose of this anyway. And my conclusion is that this is actually like a film. And this character needs to leave. So this will carry on long after you. I know one day all the characters will be gone. And no one will be remembered. Everyone who knows you and everyone who knows them will one day leave the film, you know. And then what? No one will be remembered. So why wait? Especially if I seem to disgust people so much. Or at best amuse. I guess I'm just longing for something. Longing for what? I don't know, not to feel like this. To feel at ease within myself. And you have accepted that every area of your life has been one big, complete, failed attempt to be this. But I need to know why before I go. Time and time again you will carry out completely unnecessary tasks and favours for other people. <laughs> I do it just for the hope of a scrap of warmth in return. The trouble is, people probably don't notice it. Do you now realise that love and admiration are no longer within your grasp? You have gripped too tight. I've often spoken to the one I hope to love. I've talked for months even though I was alone, and when I meet these people, I don't know what to say. It's time. No! No! Yeah, the film as you put it. This is it. Time to go.